That is for filling up with water and not for filling up with gin and tonic. I had a real good sort out of the underwear. I had hundreds of white socks. I mean, it doesn't really look like it, does it? Maybe I should paint this. Right, let me just get in amongst the bags. I'm gonna crank you up a bit. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new vlog. I wasn't quite sure what to film this week, but I've got a few things I wanted to show you. So I thought we'd just do a bit of a vlog, an at-home vlog mostly, and I just thought I'd share a few bits with you. I've got some cooking that I want to do. So you may have seen earlier in the week that I bought some groceries from Lidl. I did my food shop. So I want to do a slow cooker beef stew. And then because that's gonna to take too long to have today, I also wanna do a healthy-ish salmon dish in the oven. It's so easy, I mean, it's my cooking, so you know what I'm like. Everything takes about five minutes to prep, then you leave it to do its thing. So if you're into a couple of easy meal ideas, then those are on the way for you in this vlog. I also want to share with you something that I've discovered and I'm trying out, which is a way that we can declutter donate some of our clothes to charity and then specify which charity we want the money to be raised for and also there's the option to make some money back for yourself to buy some new things for your wardrobe. So I think the whole concept sounds brilliant. So I'm going to be sharing with you a bit of my wardrobe organisation that I've been doing. I've been trying to get it all sorted. It's tricky with the charity shops being closed to get rid of stuff. So I thought this is a great idea and one that I'm very excited to share with you. So I'll be doing that a bit later in the vlog. That'll probably be tomorrow because I'm already starting this vlog at evening time it's half past five so I've got to get cracking but what I thought I'd do is make the slow cooker beef stew leave that on going into the evening and then I can just switch that off I might even pop it on to low no I'll switch it off before I go to bed but that will be good to go then for tomorrow have a nice bit of stew for lunch and then yeah we'll do a nice easy um salmon dinner so if you're interested in those those are on the way and then we'll just see where the mood takes us while i'm sat here and while we're catching up i've had a pr delivery today this has come from matalan so i thought i'd share with you what's in here we'll do a little unboxing together so let's have a look at what they've sent me it says ewan enjoy being active this january well we can try but with the weather at the moment it's tricky isn't it it's absolute drizzle all week long in london let me know how it is where you are but in the last video that i put up i asked you and you said pretty much the same thing so i feel like none of us have had great weather lately fingers crossed we get some sunshine soon anyway it says um enjoy being active this january with our new solux rain thank you matalan um so They've already sent me some pieces from this range for the gym. So I'm wondering if they're just trying to <laughs> send me a little hint here, but they've sent me this really nice water bottle, which is fab. Very nice indeed. It's by a company called Polar Gear, it says, and it's got an eye on it, which I just noticed. That is so cool. How about that personalized bottle that is for filling up with water and not for filling up with gin and tonic noted and they've also sent this is incredibly generous of them a reflex active watch so this is a sports watch and i don't actually have one of these so i'm really looking forward to trying this out it would be a good one to wear out and i think yeah you can um fix it up to your phone i think so that's brilliant um reflex active yeah little sports watch so that will be really handy and maybe it might even tempt me just to leave my phone at home when I go out for a run. It's quite nice to not have any distractions, isn't it? So that might be a good replacement for that because it says it's got a step counter on there. Also has a sleep monitor, interesting. Sleep has been terrible recently. How's yours been? It is all over the shop. My, what's the word, like sleep pattern? It's not good. It's not a routine, it's all over the place and dreams are wild. <laughs> so there we are, probably why I've been feeling quite lethargic during the day recently. They've also sent over some sports socks, so sports trainer socks, there's five pairs here and these are six pounds if you're interested. These look like good ones, don't they? Nice elasticated um, socks that just go to the ankle. So those are good for running, aren't they? I prefer the black and white ones to the blue, but yeah. Nice to get a good set of those for running. And then we have here some shorts. And these ones, they've sent over a size medium, which is perfect. And it looks like they've got zippable pockets, which I think is so handy at the current time because 
of course we can zip our face masks in there as well which have now become part and parcel of what we're carrying around on a daily basis. They've got a drawstring and nice fabric actually. It's quite thick, so nice for the winter time. It's almost feeling slightly fleecy in there, which I haven't um, had in shorts before, which is very nice. And then we have a sports top. It says antibacterial moisture, moisture uh, wicking. I'm not sure what that means, but there we are. And it says stretch as well. Yeah, what does moisture wicking mean? I'm not sure, that is £10. And then this, now this is really handy. This is a lightweight black jacket. It looks like it's got a bit of reflective um, stripe going through it, as you can see. And this one has a hood, nice zip up, so it goes under the chin. And it, it has been absolutely freezing when I've been going out on my runs recently. So cold that I feel like my ears are gonna drop off and my fingers are gonna fall off. So this one is shower resistant and by the same range, that is 18 pounds. But a nice one to throw on in the mornings and the reflective um, panels on there are a good little addition as well, aren't they? I do think Matalan has incredible um, good value in terms of their clothing. I'll pop a little link in the description box to Matalan's Active Wear if you want to check it out for yourself. And thank you very much to them for sending over those bits. And yes, they will encourage me <laughs> to enjoy my active sessions this January. I am making the effort, but man, is it a struggle. Anyone else feeling that? Are we back into the kind of exercise? How are we feeling about it? I find it okay once I'm up and out, but it's just that motivation at the moment that I'm lacking. When the sun's not shining, I think it's harder to get out when you look outside and it just looks bleak. But I have been doing it and I will continue to. And I'm looking forward to trying out these bits as well. I think that jacket is gonna be very handy on those cold winter mornings when I drag myself out for a run or a nice long walk with my eye water bottle that may contain water. <laughs> okay, so um, let's head over to the kitchen and let's start doing some cooking because I'm feeling peckish. So I'm going to make a really easy beef stew. So I picked up this beef from Lidl. It was only two pounds, sorry, what was that saying? Uh, two pounds 79. So I'm gonna go in with this, it's diced beef shin. It says ideal for slow cooking. And I've got a sachet of beef casserole seasoning mix. So you just add this to some water and it goes into the slow cooker or into an oven proof dish if you're doing it in the oven. And it says to add two carrots, but I'm gonna use up the carrots that I have. And also I have a random parsnip. So I'll throw him in there as well. I'm sure he will only add to the casserole. And then it says to add uh, two onions as well. So really easy to make this. So let's get cracking. First thing we need to do is just chop up the uh, carrots and parsnips, whatever root vegetables you want to add to your casserole. And then next up, I'm just going to chop up a couple of onions. Ah! And then into a pan, I'm just going to add some olive oil. And then I'm going to fry off the onions and also the beef. While that's cooking, I've just been having a look in the slow cooker book that Luke got for me for Christmas. And they've got a beef hot pot in here, which sounds delicious. So I'd love to try this another time by adding kind of potatoes onto it. Quite, quite a similar dish, actually, a lot of the same ingredients. So I think it's be quite easy to make. And I've also bookmarked a couple of things that I really want to try out. I thought this chicken and mascarpone pasta bake sounded really good. And also this, which is gammon in cola. I fancy having a go at that at some time. I've heard that's meant to be really nice. So. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try that at some point. And what's this one I've marked? Oh yes, yeah, salmon as well. I've never thought to do salmon in the slow cooker before, so I thought that was really interesting. I've 
I've had some of you ask in the past what's actually in the seasoning mix. So the ingredients say maize starch, salt, potato starch, wheat, flour, paprika, salt, onion powder, parsley, roasted onion, uh, palm fat, yeast extract, garlic powder, uh, ground black pepper, barley malt extract, natural flavouring, paprika extract, sorry. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound the healthiest actually, does it? Oh well, um, I'll pop this in and hope for the best. I've had this before though, and yeah, it's nice. So there we are. It does say no artificial colours, no preservatives, and no hydrogenated fat, so there we are. But anyway, I'll pop this in to a jug. I guess you could just use some beef stock cubes if you wanted to, or whatever you fancy really. Throw some gravy granules in there, why not? And then I'm gonna add the water. It needs 425 ml. It says to use cold water, but I'm ignoring that. I feel like I want it to be hot when it goes in there. Does anyone else just make it up as they go along? <laughs> oh, and sorry, it's all off camera, but it's chaos. I'm gonna put this in to the slow cooker now. That's browned off. And then I'll give that a quick stir. And I don't worry too much about any lumps and bumps because it always sorts itself out. That is the magic of the slow cooker, he says. <laughs> so that goes on. There we are, and we'll just leave it to do its thing. So I'm gonna pop that on, and I think I'm gonna put it on slow and leave it on for a good eight hours. Just let it cook down nice and slowly. Now, because that is gonna take forever to cook, I'm not gonna have that this evening. So what I'm making for tonight is a really easy, healthy dinner. So what I do is I just take some rice. This is the microwavable rice and some whole grains. I like to mix these up and I just lay them into a oven dish. And then onto that I just add some vegetables, whatever I've got. I'll often do tender stem broccoli, but I've actually got some green beans. So I'm gonna whack those on top. going to add a few tomatoes and then some spring onions. And then I'm just going to add the salmon fillets on top and squeeze on some lemon. And I like to add some soy sauce. You can add whatever you like, a bit of seasoning, whatever you fancy. And that's it. <laughs> I just put the foil on top of it, whack it in the oven at 180 degrees, and I'll leave it in there for around 20 minutes. And that should be all good to go. This has just come out of the oven. This has had 25 minutes, I think, or just maybe a little bit longer. Um, I popped it back in for another five, I think it was. So maybe 30 minutes in total. So yeah, I'm gonna have dinner and then I'm waiting for 9 p.m. because I've been watching the Pembrokeshire Murders, which I've really got into. It's a three-part drama on ITV and I've been enjoying it. It's been on every night this week so far at 9 p.m. and I quite like it when they strip it like that across the schedule because when you get the cliffhangers, I don't know, so much to look forward to at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> but that'll be available on catch up if you're in the UK, I think, on the ITV player. So well worth a watch if you like your kind of true crime drama type series and set in Wales as well. So interesting scenery and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, recommend that. So I'm looking forward to watching that later on. But I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Thursday and it is another drizzly day. Outside you can see that I've still got the fake snow and the snowflakes that I put up. So I do need to get rid of those, but I think that can wait for another day because 
yeah, it's not very nice out there today. And we have the one remaining wreath still up because I'm gonna switch this one up, I think, for springtime. It won't take much to switch that up. So yeah, I'll probably do that in a future DIY video. So this morning, I'm just gonna make myself a coffee and I've popped the beef stew back into the slow cooker. I don't think it had long enough last night. I didn't wanna leave it overnight. So I hope it's okay to do that. I wouldn't do that with anything like chicken, but I think with beef, it will be absolutely fine. So that's going back in and that should be done ready for lunchtime. And then this morning, I thought we'd have a go at making some banana bread, which I know I'm very late to the party with. <laughs> and most of you probably really don't need to see somebody make banana bread bread yet again so I'll do it as a super quick time lapse or something but I'll just quickly show you um, the new tin that I got. So yeah I ordered this from Cherries who I've been working with on here and I've got a discount code if you want to put an order in with Cherries it's 20% off your first order and they've got loads of great bargains on their website so definitely check them out I think this was two pounds and I bought the liners as well that came in a set um, so you get plenty of liners as well so I thought that's perfect so yeah I'll link all of their details in the description box and I'll have a cherries haul coming for you actually at the start of February we'll do that one after payday I think but um, yeah onto the banana bread I'm doing the Mary Berry um, recipe so you can pause the screen if you would like to or you could just google it of course um, yeah somebody I think it was one of you mentioned to me that this one's meant to be really good, so it looks pretty easy to do. Got my bananas here, some sugar, baking powder, butter, eggs, and some self-raising flour. And this is the mood for today. Wi-Fi, coffee, and my bed. I honestly could get back into it. <laughs> I lie awake at night, daydreaming about life In the corner of my eye It's real or a fabrication in my head. Despite its many flaws, it could be one of those who saved my life time and again. Another hero standing by the bed as I wait. Okay, that was so easy, even I can do it. <laughs> and I just used a wooden spoon as well, so if you don't have an electric whisk or any kind of baking equipment, it's very straightforward to make, so you should be all right with just a bowl and a wooden spoon. And of course, you do need the loaf tin as well to bake it in. So, um, let's now go and have a look at some of the organizing that I've been doing in the wardrobe, and I'll tell you all about this way that I'm going to get some to charity and how you can make some like clothes back out of it as well. Okay, let me show you where I'm at with things in the bedroom. We're not quite there yet, but I have been having a good old sort out and I've got rid of absolutely loads. I decided not to do that as a video this year because I just feel like I've done the wardrobe declutter video so many times already. So I can link my sort of declutter and organizational playlist down below if you wanna see a sort of thorough wardrobe clear out or that sort of thing. But let me show you kind of what it's looking like now I've had a bit of a go at it. It probably doesn't look that great still. <laughs> There's still work to be done, work in progress. So I've been through all my jackets. I mean, it doesn't really look like it does it, but actually I would say that these ones here and those two are probably all more shirt style jackets. So that's that. And then I've kind of categorized things, but that's why I say I need to do a bit more organizing. I'd like to try and sort out the hangers a bit better, maybe get those all matching and that sort of thing. But we're getting there. Now, some of you may remember I had some leather jackets that I was humming and hawing about. I have finally got rid of them. There was two of them and I kept saying, oh, I'll put it on the rail. Do I keep it? Blah, blah, blah. Cut a long story short, before the um, restrictions were in place, I was able to do a big donation to the charity shops and those went. So hopefully those are making some nice cash for the charity shops and when the charity shops are back open. But we've just gone into jackets and that's pretty much the lot at the moment. Another thing I did was organize all my trousers and loungewear. And then towards the back, I've got some shorts. I've really thinned all of this out. I just went through it, tried a lot of things on, 
buffet belly situation. There's somewhere I just think, I don't know whether I'm just making excuses here, but I do think things do get a bit tighter in the wash. <laughs> They also get a bit tighter after Christmas, so it's one or the other, or a combination of the two. But I'm not keeping anything that's not fitting me well, because you never reach for it. You don't want to feel restricted, so we're good. We've got some space in here, and all rolled up and stacked upwards, so I can see exactly what's going on. And then I had a real good sort out of the underwear and socks situation. I had hundreds of white socks. Let me pop in a picture. Yes, that was the situation. So... What I've decided to do is just keep one brand of my sports socks. So I actually went with Puma. I had lots of Kappa ones <laughs> as well, but now I've only got Puma ones. Most of them are in the wash. I'm also wearing a pair right now. But the fact that they are all the same brand means that when I pair them up, I don't have to think. <laughs> same with these. I've just got Primark um, inside ones. What do you call them? Like shoe liners or invisible socks, whatever you want to call them apart from the random pair of black ones, but I thought black's quite a good colour to have as spares. And then I've got lots of just plain ones. I got rid of all the bulky socks apart from one pair to wear in boots because they take up so much space. So lots of those are gone, thankfully, and now I can see everything. And same with the underwear drawer. I've just kept the nicest underwear and the ones that I always like to reach for, the ones that are really comfortable. And yeah, got rid of all the old tatty ones, anything with a little hole in it, anything like that is gone. So that feels a lot better. As I say, it is a work in progress. So I need to rethink some of this because I've got hoodies and stuff in the wardrobe, which I don't think is probably the best place for them. And yeah, as you can see, things have been kept, but they haven't been organized yet. And I've got spare hangers and stuff. But as you can see, lots has gone. And then I did kind of a half stab at this drawer where I keep t-shirts, but I've ended up having to put some thin knits in here, which again, I don't think is ideal, but I don't like hanging these up because the hangers leave marks on the shoulders, if that makes sense. They get little ridges in them. So yeah, not too bad, but can be better. So we'll come back to that one. And then up here, I have the box that I got from uh, Lidl, and he said Aldi then, from Lidl. If you want to see my little grocery shop, that's already up on the channel. But, um, yeah, I've used one of these, they're 4 99 to keep my watches in, which I am very pleased with. I need to find a better way to prop them up. I might cut some, like, loo roll tubes and pop them into each one, cut them to size, that I can wrap the watches around, and maybe even, like get the loo roll tube and put something around it, maybe like fabric, and slot it in. I'm not sure, but that could be um, a little quick DIY to do because they're just a little bit, they fall. <laughs> but very pleased with that. And I've just displayed them next to the Louis Vuitton um, vintage bag that I'm still humming and hawing about getting fixed. I can't do it at the moment, but I think I am, when um, the stores reopen, going to send this away to get it properly repaired by Louis Vuitton, which will cost a fortune, but I think it's worth it for the investment, if that makes sense. So, yeah, thumbs up to that. But I'm so pleased. I'll stop banging on about this tea box. <laughs> but I'm so pleased with it. I think it looks really, like, classy for 4 .99. I think you'd never think, would you? Would you think that's a tea box? Would you think, oh, it's a nice watch box. Maybe I should paint this. What are we thinking? That could be a fun little DIY upcycle. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. We have got um, clothes to sort out for the charity shop. Let's go downstairs. And these are the bags that I'm using. These are from Poundland. They had lots of different bags, storage bags. They had bags like this that were designed for wreaths. Also ones for Christmas trees. I think they had uh, bauble sort of storage containers as well. These are two pounds each. And I thought they're really nice. The gray, Looks quite stylish, quite sleek, and I thought, as storage goes, non-offensive. I've actually <laughs> used it to carry my shopping home in, and I thought, looks all right for that as well. So I'm pleased with these. I bought loads of them because they're perfect if you're having a declutter. You're not getting ripped up bin bags and all that sort of thing. Really easy to, you know, if you've got a car, stack things up in the boot in these, or if you don't like me, you can pop these long straps over your shoulder and take loads down to the charity shop get a bit of exercise while you're at it. But let's take this downstairs and we'll sort through some of this. Right, let me just get in amongst the bags so I can sit down and have a chat to you about this new thing that I'm going to try out. I'm going to crank you up a bit. There we are, you can see my 
hair now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I saw this. I think it was actually on, you know the ads that pop up on Instagram sometimes? I think it was on one of those I spied this. I can't remember. Anyway, essentially what it is, is a website called Thrift Plus. So I'm going to link it in the description box. And what they do is they're kind of like an online charity shop, basically. So they're selling really nice second-hand items of clothing that they've gone through, picked out, photographed, and uploaded it online. So kind of like eBay, I suppose, but for charity. So the way they work is that they will actually send you out some bags that you can fill up to donate to them, which I thought, excuse me, I'm just gonna kneel up. At the current time, uh, really handy because with the charity shops being closed, I thought if we are having a little declutter, we can get on with donating some of it. And when it then goes to them, they will photograph it, upload it, pick out the pieces that they can sell. I'm not sure if they guarantee that they'll sell everything that you send to them. I'm not sure. So I'll link the website so you can read all of their terms and conditions and stuff. But essentially, 33% goes to a charity of your choice from the item sale and then 33% goes to them with a minimum of five pounds for their kind of fees. So the fees of, you know, sending and receiving the bags and stuff, um, the uploading, all that stuff takes time, doesn't it? I mean, when I list things on eBay, it's definitely got quicker because I use the app and I just snap it and do it there and then. So it doesn't take too long, but um, yeah, it covers their fees, so fair enough. And then 33% then, can go back to yourself in the form of a credit to spend on their website to buy an item of secondhand clothing, which is really good if you're looking for something new for your wardrobe, but maybe want to do a bit more of the sustainable route, or a John Lewis voucher as well. So they say the average sort of donator will make around 20 pounds back in credit with the John Lewis or to spend on their site, which I think is so exciting. I've got three bags. That's the um, maximum amount of bags that they'll send, because I'd be like, <laughs> send me 10 bags, please. I've got a lot to send you, but we'll do three for now, and I'll see how I get on with them. But I thought a really good way to donate um, from home, from the comfort of our own homes, while we're having a clear out. So these are the bags, and then you scan them in so they know it's your bag, and when you sign up, they'll be able to track all of your items in there and get them selling. So, yeah, self-seal, and then you can drop these off at Collect Plus, or you can have a next day delivery, next day collection. Sorry, you can organize that as well, so they'll come to your door and pick it up. So yeah, let's start going through the bags that I've filled here, because I've got a bit of a mixture of stuff, and I'm gonna pick out some of the nicer pieces. So just before I start filling up the bags, I'm just reading the leaflet here that says what to put in your thrift bag. So it says they absolutely love designer items, who wouldn't? Um, so if you have designer items to donate, we would love to list them on our dedicated Thrift Plus Boutique. Oh, I will definitely be checking that out. I love a bit of second-hand luxury. You may have seen the Louis Vuitton bag that I picked up from eBay. That's in another video. But yeah, I mean, if I can make some credit on there, that's where I'll be having a little browse. Then premium brands, so and other stories, diesel, cos, whistles, all of that kind of stuff. Our absolute sweet spot is premium brands which sell quickly for a great price. So fill up your bag with those. High Street favourites, also popular on their store, only when in excellent condition. If well worn or damaged, please see it below. So they're interested in ASOS, Topshop, Nike, Zara. I guess all the regular um, high street stores, but low end and supermarket, which they're categorizing as things like George to Boohoo, Primark, um, don't sell so well on their store, which is fair enough. You know, when we go to the charity shops and we see those kind of brands, we expect them to be at a bargain price. And they're not always, are they? Sometimes they mark them up probably more than they'd sell on those sites or in those stores, but that's fair enough. Um, so please don't throw them away. Charity shops are able to raise valuable funds from these garments by sending them to be recycled as well. So if you've got anything that's a bit tatty, a little bit low-end quality maybe, or if it's bobbled and that sort of thing, you still can donate it and they still can be recycled, but yeah, probably just not the right thing to be selling online, which I think is fair enough. So um, let's start going through all the stuff that I need to organize and part with. Now these, <laughs> look at these. I mean, these are top man. Do we think they'll sell? I think they might, you know. These could be a vibe. Um, let's pop them in. I'm popping them to one side because they do like the um, high street brands and these are in good nick still. 
So let's pop them to one side. What else have we got in here? These are some chinos. I'm not so sure about things like that selling online. These are River Island and I feel like they're just a little bit snug on me now. So I might pop those in. Shorts that are now too short short and yeah, buffet that belly situation with these isn't a vibe. You don't want to be wearing white shorts when you can't squeeze into them. So these are gonna be going to probably be recycled, I think. So I'll pop them to one side. Then I've got some Primark skinny jeans. So again, not suitable for this, but they can go potentially to be sold in a charity shop or to be uh, recycled if not. And also these trousers as well, which are also from Primark. So they're no good for this. Now, what else have we got in here? I wonder if they take belts. I've got some leather belts here. I'm gonna pop those to one side and check that. I'm not sure whether they do or whether they don't. Burton jumper, quite nice. Good nick still, might pop that in. Nice pink hoodie from Penguin. I've just got far too many hoodies. I absolutely love this one still, but I've got a lot of hoodies. <laughs> this jumper from H&M just got a bit snug on me, but really nice. And then this jacket, which I actually picked up from a charity shop. This is APC, really good brand. And yeah, made in Paris, size medium. This is a fab coat, but I just don't wear it. So it's silly to hang on to it if I don't wear it. So that's gonna go, but it's got a really nice collar on it. And yeah, really good quality piece, this one. So hopefully they'll be able to sell that for a decent price. Another hoodie, which I absolutely love, but I've got a lot of black hoodies. So I'm gonna part with this one. And this is really lovely quality as well. Massive hood on that one. So yeah, that should be a nice one for them. Okay, first bag is full. You get quite a lot in these as well. So I'm gonna continue doing this. Um, I've also just checked and you can donate shoes and belts and bags, sunglasses as well. So you can just check on their FAQ section if you're unsure as to what things you can and can't donate to sell on. But yeah, um, that's it. I'm gonna get these all packed up and then I'll order a little collection and get these off to Thrift Plus. So if you want to check them out, you might see a few of my garments on there as well. But yeah, maybe do it for yourself. If you're looking to declutter, what a fab way to do it. And yeah, fingers crossed it all works out okay. And I'll let you know how I get on with them. The postman's just been, and I think this is going to be something that is very appropriate for today's vlog. I'm saying that because I recognize this leopard print. Let's get involved and see what's in here. But if this is what I think it is, this is perfect timing, and you're gonna see why. Get this opened up. Loving that touch. Yay, it is. This is so exciting. So, this is a book from my friend Dilly, who is also known as Declutter Dollies on Instagram. And Dilly is a professional declutter, declutterer and organizer. So she goes into people's homes and transforms them. She does unpacking when people move house, all of that good stuff. And she has released a book called Create Space, Declutter Your Home to Clear Your Mind. How about that? So I'll link this in the description box if any of you are interested. It says, let Dilly Carter show you the connection between the outer order and the inner calm by room by room guide to organizing your home. It's packed with practical solutions, advice and techniques. So let's have a quick peek inside. How about that? A very nice book indeed. And it's got absolutely loads of tips and a full guide here to get your home organized. I love the graphics in this, very cool. It's got all different rooms and stuff. So we've got bathroom there, bedroom checklist, ways to tick off and things. So yeah, I know lots of you are interested in this stuff. So congratulations to Dilly on um, this amazing book. And yeah, if you're interested, definitely um, click the link in the description box and get your hands on one. But how fab is that? So I can't wait to um, get reading this. 
Brilliant. So, um, I am now gonna check the oven because I think it is time to see how our banana bread is doing. And here is the banana bread. I think it's all right, isn't it? Or is it slightly almost burnt, but not? I'm very pleased with that. Let's see what it's like and cut a slice. There we go. And it is still steaming. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea and enjoy this, yum. And I've just had a little bite and it is delicious. It's not too sweet, which I guess is good. And yeah, all I would think about adding is maybe some chocolate chips, if you had some. I feel like they would be quite nice in here. And I feel like also, I wouldn't mind, while it's warm, putting it in a bowl and having a blob of clotted cream on it. That would be a vibe. <laughs> but for now, I'll have it as it is. Delicious. Mmm. And now I'm going to have a nice bowl of stew for my lunch. I should have held off on the banana bread until I'd eaten this, but I wasn't thinking. I was too excited. So <laughs> here we are, sitting down for lunch. I'm watching Steph's packed lunch. I like to have it on in the daytime and catch up with it. It's a really good bit of company. So if any of you haven't tuned in yet and you are in the UK, definitely tune in. Of course, tune in on Fridays if you wanna see my segment on it. But yeah, I do think it is such a good watch. It's always really positive, but you get to know kind of what's going on in the world all at the same time, which is fab. So that's on every day at 12.30 on channel four. And I'm gonna get involved with my lunch now. I think there's probably, oh, that's delicious. The beef has gone really tender from the slow cooker. I'm not sure how many hours that's had, but probably quite a few. I did it on slow and it's been on all morning this morning as well. So it's probably had maybe eight hours in total, I would say. And then I've just got like the carrots and the parsnips as well. Really nice, it's very hot. I'm gonna put the bowl down um, before I say goodbye. I've basically got an afternoon of meetings. I've got Zoom meetings to do and some catching up and then I'm gonna be back on Steph's pack lunch tomorrow so I need to get myself all sorted for that. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'll just swallow my beef. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Um, let me know if you have a go at the charity shop declutter online thing that I showed you. And also, if you make the banana bread, let me know how you get on. I'm sure you've all made it already. I'm so late to the party with that one, but I'll link that recipe um, in the description box as well, along with um, Dilly's book as well. That will be down in the description box. And yeah, I'll be back with more videos for you next week. At the moment, I'm sticking, I think, to a Wednesday at 4 p.m. and Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday if you're watching this on Sunday morning. Do let me know what you've been up to this weekend or what you've got planned for the rest of today or for the rest of your evening if you're watching this not in the UK and or maybe the morning. Let me know whatever time it is <laughs> what you're up to and yeah wishing you a good week ahead. I'll be back on Wednesday. I'm not sure what Wednesday's video is yet so that's exciting. Stay tuned. I'll let you know as soon as I know over on Instagram. That's where I keep you posted on things as well so don't forget to follow me over there. Mr Carrington is my main account and also Mr Carrington Home where I've actually been answering a lot of your interior and home dilemmas. So I'm going to do that one again I think. I pop a question box up on my stories and then I ask you have you got something in your home that you need a bit of help with? And then I answer it on my stories and I'll save them all to a highlight over there as well. So if you've got anything in your home um, that you want me to draw my attention to, I will help you as best I can over there. I'm giving people shopping suggestions, I'm giving people interior ideas, just anything that I feel like I can try and help with. I mean, it might not be the solution, but I can give you my thoughts on stuff if that's useful to you. So I'll probably do that again um, next week as well. So do follow me over there and we'll do another one of those. They're good fun and it's great to get everyone's opinions on things as well. So we always have a little chat in the DMs too. So don't be shy, follow me over there and do say hi when you do. And yeah, if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the red one there, just do it now takes a minute and then you could always be notified of a brand new video when one pops up and it also means you can comment down below and tell me what you're up to because I do like to keep track of you all <laughs> see what you're all doing so yeah um that's it I'm gonna crack on with my beef stew thank you so much for watching I will be back on Wednesday with another video and I'll see you soon bye